<clears throat> What's up? This is awkward. What's up, my chuglets? No, that's not right. I don't know. Maybe I'll remember it by the time I title this video. Anyways. Hey. Do I need to do that hey again? Do I need to retake that? It was meant to be the kind of hey that someone says after showing up at a family gathering for the first time in eight years? Seven? How long has it been? Too long? Too long. Okay, we agree. Let's just, let's just carry on. You know, I was sitting here uh, right before I hit record, and the smell of the the pop filter on the microphone made me just stop for a second. I just sat here, <laughs> breathing it in. It doesn't smell particularly good, by the way. Um, but I could smell the memories on here, man. I could smell you. And it's been like eight years, so a shower would, would, do, would do some good. <laughs> but seriously, uh, there's a weight to this that I don't think I fully realized before, or... Maybe it's just some kind of forgotten connection because I stepped away for so long, but damn. Something about smelling you on this mic after eight years just feels good. It doesn't smell good. Um, let's not forget that. We don't want to confuse the two here, you know. I realize you probably have questions, um, like, what Call of Duty is this, even? Uh, well, I can't answer that off the top of my head, to be honest. I plucked this one out of the archive, and in all honesty, I may have used it in a different video before, so if that answers that question. As for more, shall we say, piercing questions go. Um, all will come in time. I don't think cramming in all of our ketchup during our reunion dinner would be the best way to get reacquainted. Just focus on the here and now, and we'll go back and fill in the gaps from there. Okay, so, where to begin? Well, where I would start, I guess where I think I should start, should probably be where I'm at. Um, and I can abstract that question out a bit, but first I'll answer it most literally. I am currently sitting in the basement of my best friend's house, which I have nickety named my office these past couple months. I'm wearing a sweatshirt and sweatpants. Is that considered a sweatsuit? I don't know. Two pairs of socks. My office's floor gets cold sometimes. Um, but, yeah, that's very literally where I'm at. Uh, Alright, time for some abstraction here. Uh, although I can't say much has changed about who I am at my core. Um, my direction in life has shifted a bit. At first it shifted a lot in the wrong direction, I think, but I've now managed to point it back towards 
what I believe to be, well, the truest north I've ever pointed, I think. <laughs> and that's where what we are experiencing right now came from. From the truest north I've ever pointed. Huh. Imagine that. <laughs> In a literal sense, uh... In some ways, it gave me the idea to log back in to YouTube and and talk to you guys. But really, what it did was show me how much I love to create and uh, how much I love sharing those creations with all of you. Because sometimes when we share our creations, we can open up a tiny little portal of happiness for someone, even if it's just for a second. Uh, they can poke their head in and have their day brightened and that to me is it's being the change you want to see in the world and uh, there's a deep sense of purpose in that for me and I don't think I'm alone in that in fact I know I'm not alone because here you are and here you still are <laughs> uh I was blindsided by a lot of things that made me lose sight of what was important to me, and I've given up a lot of what I previously thought was important in order to pursue a more meaningful life again, and this time I think I have less blind spots, or maybe they're just hiding in different places, I don't know. Regardless, I won't have the same blind spots, and plus, if doing what feels right is wrong, I don't want to be right <laughs> or maybe I don't I don't know I'll have to check the math on that one um, okay so to quickly fill you in um, because the video is you know anyways after I graduated college I I worked for two different companies uh, the first one was a smaller startup and the second one was a much larger corporation uh, both of them showed me my biggest blind spot, and that was uh, college education. Um, it was at least one of my biggest blind spots, I would say. I think it was the simultaneous action of YouTube and college that made it seem like where I was going in college was right. Either way, uh, it didn't take me too many years of the 9 to 5 world to realize that I had been ignorant about a buttload of stuff in my life including my future and uh, and my well-being. I had been lying to myself about who I wanted to become for reasons I hadn't even taken the time to fully consider. So I tore it all down and put myself back together with the pieces whose strength I still had faith in, which again leads us here. <laughs> to you, still sitting here in partial disbelief in me, some guy who kicked his college job to the curb to live out the rest of his life living his dream, and and what is that dream exactly? <laughs> it's not a particularly luxurious dream, I don't think. I don't have any pool boys or fancy shoes in mind. <clears throat> but what I'm after matters more than that, I think. More than any of that. I'm after true purpose, presence, passion, piñatas, pickled pine cones, plenty portly Portuguese penguins, you name it. Uh, my dream is to witness and in turn help to bring out the natural beauty and wonder of life. I don't just do this for personal inspiration either, or fulfillment, but to inspire and encourage others to do the same. So, yeah, in an effort to fully commit to this way of life, my best friend and I have hit the road. <laughs> like a band, except we only play concerts for ourselves. <laughs> but really, we're just two curious, creative, open-minded people who just want to explore and soak in the simple pleasures of life so that when the day comes, when we take that last exhale, there will be uh, a smile on our faces and content in our hearts. 
our home is our travel mobile. And the open road is our backyard sometimes. Life is a highway. Jeez. I feel like our uh, reunion dinner here is chocked full of cheesy one-liners from inspirational Instagram quotes or grandma's pillow stitchings or something. But then again, there is something that resonates at the bottom of all those cheesy one-liners. No matter how faint the vibration happens to be for you, you'd be lying if you said you couldn't feel it. There's something about seizing opportunity and living up to your potential that is simultaneously undefinable, seemingly unattainable, yet attainable at the same time. And I think we can sometimes struggle with the right words to try and grasp that, case in point, uh, this entire video for me. Uh, <laughs> so if I had to sum up where I'm at in one sentence, uh, well... I just don't think I could, but maybe I could show you instead. Um, I've decided to start a new YouTube channel with my best friend Lisa. Uh, happy Mayflower Day. We're documenting our journey so that we can bring everyone who wants to come along for the ride along. I took a few months to get uh, settled in over there before I let you guys know call it setting the table, if you will, but uh, you may now be seated. Here's your digital popcorn. You've got some catching up to do. A uh, link to that channel is in the description of this video and probably plopped on the screen by now. As far as what's in store for this channel, only the future can tell, but for now, I hope you all enjoy taking part in my new chapter in life. Uh, the looking for James journey. <laughs> if you're still watching my videos after this long, thank you. <laughs> and uh, let this not be the last time we cross paths, friend. Until our next meal, peace and love, nuggets. <laughs>